One of the most common questions I get is how do I design a food forest? I think of it as a series of guilds. So I start with a main fruiting tree, and then around that tree, we create a permaculture guild or just an ecosystem of different plantings that support that main fruiting tree. So we might have some compatible berry bushes. When planting around the tree, we need to consider sun needs, things that can uh, survive or thrive well in part shade four to six hours a day can go closer to the trunk and things that need more sunlight are going to be farther on the perimeter of the tree's canopy. Underneath, we'll plant mulchers, accumulators, pollinating attractant plants, repellers of pests and disease, and maybe even some vines that can grow up the tree trunk. And this is going to be our guild. But when we want to create a food forest, we need to consider partial sun and full sun and how that relates to planting even further beyond the scope of this initial guild. So what we're going to do is just create a series of guilds. So let's say that we want an apple tree, or maybe we want to alternate an apple tree and a pear tree. From here, I simply connect my guilds. So now I'm no longer just focusing on one tree. I'm considering plants that can go in between the trees that will accommodate both. So we could be doing some blueberry bushes, or we could be doing some raspberries, anything that's going to be compatible and support your main fruiting trees. From there, we just connect the dots by putting mulchers in between. We put weed suppressors in between. And then again, those pollinator attractors and those disease and pest repellers. And there you have it. We have a series of trees or a mini food forest. And remember, sunlight is going to reach between the trees. And there's a lot to be said for dappled sunlight or dappled shade. If you wanted to take it a step further, you could plant an overstory tree. This is going to be something like a chestnut or a maple, something that's going to be very large and create an overstory. And your fruiting tree is going to serve as the midstory. Everything underneath is the understory.